What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Night Out channel. Welcome back to the series where we're counting down the top Dynasty Warriors characters as of the latest game. Coming in at number 37, we have the wife of the first Emperor of Wei, Zenji. Zenji was Sao Pi's first wife and she was supposedly favored by Sao Pi when he first saw her. When they first met is not precisely known historically, but Romance of the Three Kingdoms is famous for stating their first meeting was near Guangdu. The novel also describes her as a woman of dazzling beauty. Before we jump into how Zenji has changed since her debut back in Dynasty Warriors 3, take a look at the popularity poll to see why Zenji is up here at number 37. In the first popularity poll, Zenji received a whopping 1,556 votes out of a total of over 75,000 votes to put her at the 13th spot on the very first poll. Very impressive to see her all the way up there. In the second popularity poll, she's going to drop down to the 34th spot. And then unfortunately, in my personal ranking, she's going to drop all the way down to the 67th spot. So for me personally, Zenji is a lot lower than the other list because I've never really played through Zenji. I've played the games for a long time and I've obviously known who Zenji is and her role in the games. She was never a character that really drew me to her. Like I never really wanted to play her at all. And uh, playing through her story, playing through all of her Musa modes within the game, uh, I would say her positioning for me is, is going to stay relatively the same. If anything, I guess her weapon style, the way she fights in the earlier games is really cool, but I didn't find any attraction to the character herself, whether it was her personality or her looks or just her relationship in the game. I just, you know, she's an okay character for me personally, and uh, she's probably going to remain relatively the same in terms of ranking. Before we go any further with Zenji, let's talk about Zenji for people who don't know. Like I said, Zenji was the first wife of Sao Pi, who was the first ruler of the state of Sao Wei in the Three Kingdoms period. She was a dignified and proud noble woman who yearned to find personal satisfaction in battle. Her elegance and beauty have enchanted many who came across her, as others label her beauty to be simultaneously dangerous. What does it matter? I'm thirsty for blood, and I'll take it where I can find it. Such a frightful woman. And though she acted hostile towards him on their first meeting, she genuinely grows devoted to Sao Pi during their time together. So Zenji, again, personally for me, is not a character that I would run to play through again. But reading through her historical information, it was pretty interesting to just read some of the things that she did while she was, uh, you know, growing up and marrying Sao Pi and being part of, you know, the Yuan family, all that stuff. She was, I would say the best way to describe her is that she is a very... Uh, devoted and intelligent wife like, and for me it was really cool to see that through her advice or through what she was saying even from when she was very young from a young age it almost seemed like Zenji was she had these like leadership abilities these charismatic leadership abilities uh, some of the things I, I read about when she was younger you know she would like advise her mom to treat people a certain way I think it was like her daughters-in-law like her stepsisters-in-law that she was telling her to like treat her better and you know, if you do, you know, you should, that's how you should do it. And, you know, her mom was like so moved or something that she was crying. And she was like, you know what, I'm going to listen to what you say. And, you know, it's just very interesting that she was also questioning things while she was so young, reading books and learning how to become better as a person and uh, developing a sense of graciousness and kindness that developed into her later years as well when she became the wife of Yuan Shi and uh, Sao Pi. I would say that she had a bit of influence, especially with Sao Pi. Um, according to the historical text. And in, in the games as well, you can see that influence that she had for Sao Pi when she suggests, hey, we should rest, or hey, we should do this, or, you know, I think this is the best option kind of thing, whatever it is. I think that you should rest for a while. <laughs> I would very much like to. I have not been able to spend much time with you lately. Let us fall back to Luo Yong for now. Jen. She still has that rivalry type behavior with Sao Pi. You can see within their cutscenes within the game when they're fighting together or, you know, they're with each other. You can see that determination that she has when she's with him to, you know, get the objective done, you know, take down the enemy, whatever it is. She has that talent, that ability. It's almost to the point where it comes across smug, but it's a genuine like, you know, I'm going to fight as hard as I can, you know, for you and we're going to build a world together. And, you know, she believes 100% in uh, Sao Pi's dream. But again, for me as a character, Zenji, again, she's a decent character. It's not a character I would run to play again. Her flute has always been a signature to her. I've always enjoyed, you know, playing with her flute or just, you know, using that weapon. That's always been really fun to use. But uh, in terms of, you know, personality and the character herself, reading about her historical information was a lot more fun than actually playing, like, through her story in, like, Dynasty Wars 9. Dynasty Wars 9, her story was so empty. It was one of the most boring stories that, you know, a character could have. But yeah, if they added more into Zenji's story in Dynasty Warriors 9, it would have been a little bit better. Even some of the earlier games, she wasn't really that integrated within the, you know, 
within the game. I mean, she was there, of course. People, you know, obviously love her. You know, 13th in that first popularity poll. But I didn't really see her role. She was just a really devoted, you know, intelligent wife. And she was there to help however she could. And since we already mentioned it, let's go ahead and jump right into her weapon style. So again, talking about the flute, her signature weapon within the game is the flute. So she has it within the majority of all the games. She has it in pretty much every single game except Dynasty Warriors 6 and Dynasty Warriors 9. Dynasty Warriors 9, she gets a little later in the DLC, but the original weapon she has in Dynasty Warriors 6 and 9 is the chain whip. The flute is obviously the better weapon, but the chain whip fits her really, really well. And like I mentioned before, in the earlier games, uh, Zenji's flute weapon like move set was really really cool she had this like really cool i believe it was the fourth combo she did like a round spin you know kick combo and then she kicks him in the air and then she slams it back down that was really cool to use that was a lot of fun of course her move sow attacks with the flute absolutely destructive in the earlier games i mean you just kind of stand there and just wipe out you know all the enemies within a certain radius the first game, Dynasty Warriors 3, the Musao attack wasn't perfected, I guess, but it seemed like when like the first two hits for the Musao attack hit, the third one would always miss because the person's body would hit the ground too fast and then it would miss. And uh, Dynasty Warriors 3, 4, and 5, very good to play as. Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8, uh, it was pretty fun. Can't complain too much about it. I liked her normal attacks. They were pretty cool. Very good AoE attacks. You know, you can get people off you really easily. And of course, with the Chain Whip in Dynasty Warriors 6 and 9, I, you know, it fits her. I liked it. I don't really have much to complain about. I actually like the Chain Whip in Dynasty Warriors 6. I actually like the move set. It's actually pretty fun to play as. Um, Dynasty Warriors 9, it's decent. Can't complain too much about it. But I actually liked it in Dynasty Warriors 6. And Musao Attack was really cool. Um, but the Flute definitely is her signature weapon. They should stay with that for her. I mean, she's had it for a while. And people that know Zen G, they're going to associate Zen G with the Flute. They see the Flute in this game. They're going to associate that with... Zenji, that is her signature weapon. Now, moving on to her appearance. Her appearance within all the games is pretty much the same. Dynasty Warrior 6, I guess, is noticeably different because it's a different color that she has on, but it's pretty much the same look that she has throughout all the games. It's a variation of the same thing, the dress with the different textures or different, you know, styles or whatever it is, but it's pretty much the same look for Zenji that she's had since the beginning of her playable debut. And I think that anyone that was a fan back when she was first playable is going to love her now. I don't think anything with her appearance is too crazy looking or like completely different where it's like, whoa, is that even Zenji anymore? She looks really good within all of her games. And the game does a good job of translating the beauty that she was known for into the game. Now, moving on to her voice acting. I think her voice acting is pretty good. I'm trying to think. I don't remember really any voice within any of the games where I heard it. And I was like, that sounded kind of weird for her. I would say her voice acting in all the games was pretty good. I'm pretty sure she had different ones in all the games, but her voice acting in the early ones fit her pretty well. Only when I'm by your side. And then leading up to, you know, through Dynasty Warriors 6, 7, and 8. You still have much to do in the days to come. And then, of course, Dynasty Warriors 9. I think it fits her just fine. It is starting to get cold. Shall we return inside? Can't complain too much about the voice acting. Now, moving on to her relationship, significant battles, and her death. All right, so her death is pretty interesting, so we'll save that one for last. Let's start off with her relationships, and I guess, I mean, it's really the only one that she has, and we'll talk about the most significant battle because, I mean, that's really the only one that really matters for her. The main relationship that she has within the game is going to be with, of course, Sao Pi, her husband, and then she also has relationships with Xin Zhang Ying and Sai Wenji when they become playable characters. I think the relationship with her and Sai Wenji, it doesn't become like a thing. I don't think it does until Xin Zhang Ying becomes a playable character. So you don't really see those interactions with them until Dynasty Warriors 9. So they have a little bit of relationship there. Nothing too crazy, but um, just because they're all, you know, women for the Wei Kingdom and, you know, they're all there supporting each other and they have that semi relationship with each other but yeah the main relationship she has is going to be of course with Sao Bi is her husband it's the emperor you know the leader of the Wei kingdom and uh he really enjoyed her company and really you know according to history he saw her immediately and was like you're so beautiful i want you to be my wife like immediately which kind of plays right into her significant battle of the battle of guan du so the battle of guan du was the battle between yuan shao and Sao Sao, and uh, zenji is originally on yuan shao's side and uh, when Sao Pi comes up to her, or when you approach her as Sao Pi, there's a little cutscene, and he basically just says, why don't you be my wife, and, you know, leave the Yuans, and I'll treat you better, and all this other stuff. And that's pretty much her only significant battle within the game. I mean, every other battle she's just a part of, she's not really supposed to be there, but she is there. Uh, the battle of Guan du is the most significant one, because that's when she meets Sao Pi for the first time. 
that's pretty much how it happened. He treated her really well. He respected her. He actually listened to a lot of the things she said. Like I said earlier, she had that influential, very kind, very genuine. She's very, I think she was very, very smart. She had a very intelligent persona. And I would say Sapi respected that all the way up until her death. Now, her death is very interesting. Uh, none of the games really mention it, or I don't think they really go over it. You know, I'm assuming most of the games are just going to chalk it up to her having illness. And even some of the historical information, it's a little blurry in terms of how she died. So one of the things I read was when Sao P forced the current emperor to step down and, you know, basically become the emperor of Wei when he built the Wei kingdom. Apparently the daughters of the, you know, that emperor was given to Sao P as like a present. So they gave his daughters to Sao P as a present. Sao P favored one of them. Her name was Guo Nu Wang, and because of that, Lady Zhen started to realize that Sao Pi was favoring Zhen Ji less, like favoring herself less, so she started to complain. Sao Pi ended up becoming furious about it, and apparently he sent an emissary to her to execute Lady Zhen by forcing her to take her own life. So I'm not really sure how true that is. There are a couple of other alternative theories to her death. Of course, illness is one of them. And then like maybe there was an offense that she did that caused her to be executed, I guess. I'm not really sure. But of course, the games don't really dive. They don't really bring the darkest parts of the history into the game. So if that's true, that's actually kind of crazy because you look at the relationship within the game for Zenji and Salpi and they're like you know, inseparable. They don't seem to have that kind of friction. According to some of the information I read, it's very interesting when I read that my jaw actually dropped when I read it because I was like, what the heck? So Sao P actually became so furious with her complaints about, you know, his new wives that she told somebody to go there and f told her to take, like he, t like the person that went there told her to take her own life. It's just crazy. That's insane to me who knows what the actual reason is for her death but she ends up passing away but that's pretty much all i have for zen g here number 37 on our list very popular i assumed that she was going to be super popular a lot of people really like zen g she's an original almost an original character for the way kingdom i'm assuming people love to play her because of her flute and then her relationship with south p which was developed later when south p became a playable character but that's already have for zenji here let me know what you guys think about her down in the comment section do you guys use her did i miss anything what do you guys think about the information that i read about am i wrong about that let me know down below but that's all i have guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you did definitely appreciate it. like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching everyone